Welcome back to Rob Teddy TV. As you know, I'm Rob. And I have a request here of American Dad. It's a very particular scene that I don't think I'm familiar with. I haven't been entirely truthful with you, Roger and Francine. I mean, first of all, what character on American Dad, especially Roger, is ever truthful with anyone? But that's besides the point. Let's have a look and see what this one's all about. <laughs> stupid bitch. Why did you drop me? I can't breathe. Why can't you do that move? You stupid bitch. I'll kill you. Please, Roger. I'm trying. God, six months of rehearsing and you still can't do that move. How do you expect us to win six the $100,000 dance off sponsored by Capizio? I'm just not sure I'm ever going to get it. You better get it. I'm getting it and I'm dealing with some serious wig problems. Why can't they make a good red wig? I look like Garfield had a miscarriage on my head. Please, Roger. That so hard. Look, if you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. <laughs> God, I've got a miscarriage on my head. I love that. <laughs> and this is called Fine Ass City. Population, one policeman's flashlight. Stan, you look horrible. And he's acting so stupid, man. I think you should see a doctor. <sighs> Maybe we shouldn't go to the dance contest. Nonsense, he's fine. All you need to worry about is dancing your little fanny off. See a doctor immediately, you're obviously dying. <laughs> okay, here's today's itinerary. We check into the hotel, I shower real quick, and then we go to the hotel's common room to rehearse. I'm still a little nervous about getting that dance move down. You'll get it. Remember, it's all about tenacity. Why are we stopping here? Francine, I haven't been entirely truthful with you. There is no dance competition. What? You mean they canceled it? No, it never existed. You see, a dear friend of mine's been sick, and I needed a way to make sure you'd come with me to Louisville when she finally passed away. You know, for emotional support. This seemed easier than just asking you. Uh, I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> We've been rehearsing for six months. Look, look what I'm wearing. I know you're going to look ridiculous. I was going to pack you something dressy, but then I decided to pack my ukulele instead. Oh, Roger. Oh, uh, suck at this. That's a tune. I'm going to give him that. Why is everybody staring at us? Maybe because we're at a funeral and you got your taters out. <laughs> He's too much. You've got some nerve coming here. Roger, what is going on here? Francine, I haven't been entirely truthful with you. The woman who died was exactly... <laughs> oh, not again. She was my ex-wife. What? Unfortunately, I left her when she was terminally ill. I hate you. Settle down, Vincent. Vincent was my stepson for a brief time. How's online college, Vincent? You a court reporter yet? <laughs> <laughs> you really loved her, didn't you? Yeah, we had fun. She pushed me to do things like take adult education classes. The last one was Native American tribal law. I challenge you to find a bigger waste of time than that. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. What? Do not expect him to say that. I haven't been entirely truthful with you. Oh my god! <laughs> I really want you here because I need someone to help me dump her body in Shelby Lake. I I'm not doing that. Look, her folks want her buried in the family plot, but she told me her final resting place should be in water. Shelby Lake was where we went on our first date. Uh, we had a picnic as the sun is absolutely so full of it was awful i just laid there th 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 this is insane i'm leaving francine wait i know i was a bad husband to her in life but maybe i can be a good one to her in death it's my last shot at redemption okay roger but no more lies thanks francine now grab a shovel and dig Okay, lunch. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I admire what you're doing here. 
In fact, this might be the most noble thing you've ever done. Francine, I haven't been entirely truthful with you. Oh, come on! I don't really know where she wanted to go. <laughs> Hell, I don't even remember. Oh, uh, what one now? Thing I do remember is her hair. I told her that no one makes a decent red wig these days. So I, had I mean, what more could there be than this? Years to finally croak, but it was worth the wait. He's lied about. You're pretty happy, aren't you? I am content. Yes. <laughs> this whole trip was completely oh, no. ridiculous, but you actually proved your point. What point was that? About being tenacious. You wanted a red wig, so you did everything you could to get it. Oh, yeah, so I did. Pull over. I want to try the move. Five, six, seven, eight. You're going to get it this time, come on. <laughs> he always wins somehow. Well, you know, that was tenacity, I suppose, but oh wow. Like, I loved the way Francine got revenge and only did the move and pulled it off because she wanted to chuck him off the cliff, but then he still managed to get one over on her because. She, he had the car keys in his pocket. Oh, it was so stupid. But this was funny. Thumbs up. Thanks for the recommendation. And I'll see you soon in my next video.